All right, so it's time for a haul. It's been a minute since I did a haul, and so it's time for me to do a haul. Let's do a haul. And I'm actually going to do kind of like um, my blind buys at the same time. So this is going to be a haul and a blind buys, the good, the bad, and the mad, and impressions, whatever. Because I've actually been wearing these since I got them. So it's not like I have to, you know, give it, you know, wait a little time and try them on. I've worn them. So let's talk. So, this is from beginning of September to now, mid-October? Yeah, because I have to be honest, I really didn't buy a lot of things in September for me. So, this haul is for me. It's not that big. And now, the other thing about this haul is um, there's um, some presents, some things that people gifted me with. So, but let's talk about them all. All right. So, if you don't know, September was a very ill month for me. So, I think that's how I want them not buying a lot. I don't know. I, I think the last time I bought was over Labor Day weekend. And I, and that's when I was starting to get sick. And it was like, you know how you, y'all know how we are. It's like, I'm sick. I want to buy myself something. And then after that, I was so sick. I wasn't thinking about buying shit. And, it, and then after that, I, it just kept going and I just wasn't buying anything. And I really couldn't figure out what I wanted. So I have some things and I have a couple of things coming still, but the prices were so good. I had to buy these last two that are coming and I still want to buy something else, but Unless my coins get right, when I try to watch my sample sale and order you some sample bundles, then I might be able to get the other couple of things I want. Otherwise, sis ain't getting them. Okay, so anyway, let's get back to the samples. So let's get to the set to the things I bought. So I'm gonna and we're gonna talk about um it's gonna be just a mishmash. It's just gonna be a mishmash of stuff. Okay. So these were the two that I bought because this was you know i was trying to stay focused on my wish list and i am going to do an update of wish list um what i've purchased and everything so i got this i got van cleef and arpels from collection extraordinaire because i really want i'm like you know i've been on this oh i want them all and i got oud blanc no the reason now let me tell you why it does not smell bad but this honestly i was like trying to figure out what it smelled like and then i saw something and i was like that's it it smells like oud bouquet i don't need it i have oud bouquet i don't wear it that much and if i'm wearing oud bouquet ish it's gonna be oud bouquet so and let me tell you something oud bouquet gets the the compliments i should wear it soon just to be like make sure but anyway that one and then i picked up this one this is moonlight rose this is the newest to the collection and it's rose so i was like okay but what it is it is a heavily patchouli rose it is patchouli and rose that is it baby that's what you get i think it has a little leather or i'm not sure but it's a patchouli rose it is really pretty but i'm not the biggest fan of patchouli that's one thing so i'm not sure if i want to keep it now i ain't gonna lie i put it on just the other day and damn it is gorgeous but i'm still trying to debate it because no point in me keeping it is if it's not a rose that i would honestly wear too often um you know like other ones i'll be like oh yeah i want to wear it. this is like oh it's pretty and it is it's a listen i ain't gonna front it's a beautiful rose but i just don't know if i want it so this is Van Cleef and Arlo Pell's Moonlight Rose. So I really didn't get a lot of stuff. I'm proud of you. you Y'all gonna be proud of me. Y'all gonna be like, really? Okay. Now these were gifted to me. These were gifted to me. Let me show y'all. Let me show you. So Commodity was doing a sale on their archive collection. So someone was kind enough because my money, my coins is rough, and they gifted me some. Um, so they got. I wanted Commodity Mimosa beautiful it is giving mimosa it's kind of it's really musky um this is a lighter weight right lighter weight so it's a nice lightweight then we have magnolia 
and <laughs> this is the one that I've been wearing. I don't know. You could I don't know if you could tell, but I'm getting a little dent in here for me because I have been spraying this. I have been using it as a and you know um layering combinations. I love it. It's sparkly and bright and beautiful. It is a gorgeous magnolia. It's very effervescent, effervescent, effervescent. <sighs> um just really sparkly on the skin so like now this is perfect this is a perfect spring summer scent but it's also good to layer with things because a lot of things have rose and magnolia in them so this is good so for some things that i have right now like i wore with a rouge and honey i was just extra extra girly so this is magnolia now this one i got with it So this one is, let me open it up. This is whiskey. Now, let me tell you why I don't like whiskey. And I know a lot of people who like it because I thought this was going to be boozy. I didn't read it right. I didn't read it right. I didn't read it right. I saw whiskey. I thought, ooh, boozy. Yes. Maybe with a little vanilla in it. Okay. Yes. What this smells like is the barrel that the whiskey is in. So it's woody with a whiskey tone to it. That's what it is. <sighs> no. So I'm sure this smells divine on somebody else, but it ain't going to smell good on me. So, there's that. I was like, what am I smelling? Oh, no. You know how you had that moment? You go, oh, no. 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 That was me with whiskey. All right. Then this was at... A wonderful perfume fairy sent me this. A mag uh, one of the sweetest, kindest perfume fairies sent this to me. And this is Shalimar's Melissima Iris. Now, I was gonna be in love with it anyway because these Melissimas are it. I'm upset that I only have a small amount of Melissa Matanka. I can't afford to buy it now because these people lost their fucking mind. But the pricing is outrageous. I ain't mad at them, but I just can't afford it. But this is Melissa My Iris. So it is a girl on vanilla. It's got that Shalimar kind of vibe. But, you know, of course, if you know anything, it is a much more modern take on it. And, and let me say this with it. It is, um, the Iris gives it this powdery gorgeousness. Let me tell you how this smells. I wore this today. And I came upstairs and Kari kept going, I smell cookies. I smell cookies. I smell cookies. And I knew it was me and I wouldn't say anything. But he was like, because I was, because it was the vanilla, that girl on vanilla. Then I, and then a student of mine later on that day was like, Miss C, you smell so good. Oh my God. You, now of course, I always smell good, y'all. I ain't even go front. I smell good every day. But she was like, that smells so good. Melissa my iris all right then i have an, some things i purchased yes so let's talk about these this one i'm mad about because i didn't know that this meant that it didn't have a top because when i saw the picture it had a top but the testers don't come with top so this is calvin klein euphoria i think this is pure gold this is the one i wanted it has dates it has plum it is just delicious for the fall but it has no top um so yeah so but it's good and so now i'm trying to figure out how i get a top for this even though i don't i'm so this is euphoria pure gold what did i say obsession this is euphoria pure gold um even though i can't stand the top because these honestly look like the genie bottle and i dream of be genie but the oh so yeah or some kind of spaceship. I don't know. I don't know who came up with that design, but it ain't cute. Then I put, picked up these. Y'all know we love. I love the Maison Al Alhambras. This is exclusive saffron. 
Now, when you first put it on, it feels like just a rose. Ooh, this got ooh, and it's got guaiac wood. It's got saffron. So it's kind of got that spiciness, but as it dries down, it's got leather in it. And it is so good. This is so gorgeous. It's got it, it definitely changes as you're wearing it. So this is exclusive saffron. I do need to check and see which ones I have so I can really go through them. And this is exclusive oud, which is like oud couture by Carolina Herrera. This is a classic rose oud. Ain't too much more than that in here. It was rose and oud. So if you're looking for a rose oud, this is it. Ooh, what's she mad about? Can y'all hear her? What was she? Why is she? Why is she screaming like that? She be mad. She be mad. I bet you she just needs her pacifier because she's ready to go to sleep. Because she don't like a pacifier. Tink don't use a pacifier anytime. But when she's ready, you know, she's ready to soothe. She's ready to chill. She wants her pacifier. And she probably want me to come up and feed her. Because these kids. Why don't these younger people feed kids? I know it'd be like, the, the child hungry. She hungry. That's a hunk. Hold on. And then, oh, I'm so sorry. I got Atkinson's Oud Save the Queen. I, this was not a blind buy. I actually knew what it smelled like because Vincent uh, sent me a sample. This is a spicy it's got cloves in it it's a spicy tea but it's a black tea which i kind of like better because i'm not a big huge fan of like the lighter teas like green teas it, 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 i'm not they're okay but if if i'm doing a tea i have found that i like the black teas better it's got black tea it's got oud it's got florals in it it is really just it's perfect for this time of year because it's got this um warmth to it and coziness like a warm spicy so this is Ooh say the queen by atkinson and if you don't know atkinson atkinson is a uh, very um well-known older perfumery from england they've been around since 1799 so they you know they've been around and my final bottle which just came today which was a gift from vincent i appreciate him because i was about to order this thing this is I have brought you flowers or as I like to call it Lulu so this I've already tried it I already knew I wanted it and by the time you see this go check my shorts for the information on the sale that he has coming that is on right now as we speak so go ahead and get you this um get, so yeah, this is I have brought you flowers. Whew. You're like, what does it smell like? It is floral. It is tuberose. It. I always hate opening these because I always hate breaking. It's like breaking a seal. Like if I was um, oh, tore that off. Um, if it was. Oh yes. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay so that he also sent me some new ones that will be coming out soon so i have to try these see what they're like oh i can't wait to try them and tell you all what they smell like in my next samples <laughs> all right oh yeah so anyway this is i have brought you flowers by dreamhouse curio all right so this is my quick haul with some blind buys because i'm trying not to buy some more i have two more bottles coming but i couldn't resist the bottles the pricing was so good house of wood under a hundred dollars i had to buy them. okay so anyway thank you all as always for watching my whole squad it's shalulu be bold be brave be fearless be free talk to you later